Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. So today we're drawing again. I know it's been a while, but I thought, hey, let's do something that I would have never done before. And not that I don't think this person is talented, simply I just wasn't a big fan. But some of you are, so why not? So today we're going to draw a Georgia O'Keeffe inspired drawing. Now Georgia O'Keeffe was a very prominent artist. And, you know, she has a museum in her name in Santa Fe. And Georgia O'Keeffe was born on November 15, 1887, and she died at the age of 98 on March 6, 1986. So we're going to draw something inspired by her work. Now her work was always involved flowers, and this was very controversial about Roger, Georgia O'Keeffe because her flowers, everybody speculated that she was really try, trying to represent the, the female genitalia. But she always dismissed that and said that wasn't true. She was trying to just depict the beauty of the flower she uh, was painting. But anyway, we're going to get started. And the first thing we're going to do is draw somewhat of a horizontal line. It needs to be a little bit crooked. Like in the center of your paper. Because this is going to be a skull. She did a lot of skulls. Uh, New York skyscrapers and, Mexi and New Mexico landscapes. Actually, New Mexico is where she spent some of her life. She would vacation there. She was really inspired by the landscapes of New Mexico. And um, after her husband died, that's where she moved to. I mean, kind of like a Y. Her husband was actually 23 years older than her, which is a lot of years, but it's kind of like Frida Kahlo. And Diego, Diego was 22 years older than Frida. So on this part you're going to make an M, but you're just going to make one side longer than the other. And she was actually from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. I've never been to Wisconsin, and I'm actually not even curious about Wisconsin, but she was from there. Uh, you're going to connect these two lines, but you're going to curve down to create that. And now we're going to connect this right here, but none of these lines should be straight because this is a skull is in an organic form, so none of them are actually linear lines. Georgia O'Keeffe was the second of seven children, and she was the only girl. She had lots and lots of brothers, six to be exact, and then extended on each side. And after high school, she went to Chicago and she studied at the Art Institute of Chicago. Then she moved to New York and she studied at the Art Student League in NYC. So now, this is the center of the school. This is the top. And you're just going to bring down to create, it's a cow, the head of that cow, the skull anyway. And the thing about it is, skulls, when you, like, if, I don't know if you've ever seen a dead skull, like, they always, the bottom part is always, like, broken off. So just make some organic shapes. And there is the skull, the bottom part of the skull. I'm going to connect from here to here, and from here to here, but you're not going to do it straight. Like this right here will be this line. And if I'm going to fast, just pause it or uh, rewind. And here are where the horns are going to come out. Now you do the same thing on the other side. And then the horns will come out from there. Now while she, while she was in New York, um, she met this photographer who was also a I think an art critic, and he also was represented several artists, and uh, they became very interested, which was her husband, like I said, who was 23 years older than her, and his name was, I don't know how to say his la last name, but his name is Alfred Stieglitz, Stieglitz, and in 1924 was when they got married, but he actually left his wife for her, so just keep bringing this in on both sides until you reach this part of the school. Now that we're going to make the sockets like where the eyes would be, so there would be one on this side, 
and then one on the other side. And then you bring another line from the eye to the center of the skull. So there we have the actual skull. Now we just need uh, the horns. Extend this out on both sides. Now it's no big deal if they're not the same size, you know. Unless you're really into making sure they're the same, then you can do that. Just keep erasing and trying. So we have one of the horns. Now you do the same thing on the other side. Now the reason why I'm not a big fan of Georgia O'Keeffe is because I feel I've never been a fan of artists who draw landscapes, and she does have a lot of landscapes and cityscapes. I just don't find them interesting. Like I don't think there's. I mean, yeah, aesthetically they're pleasing to the eye, and I guess they're pretty, but. I don't know, to me it already has to speak something to me and it has to say something, it has to communicate some sort of message to me. And the fact that her paintings have been topic of controversy simply because the flowers she did, people were so sure that they, she was representative of the female genitalia. Now that to me kind of captivated some interest, but she was always very adamant about saying that that wasn't what she was painting, that's not what she was trying to represent. So then that to me, I lost all interest in her. So now, down here we're going to make some mountains. We did a lot of landscapes. She was very enamored with the landscape of New Mexico. Now New Mexico is very beautiful. I've been to Taos and to Santa Fe. And very, very nice places to visit. Like the pueblos in Santa Fe, like, they're like indigenous. Uh, houses that are still there and intact and they still live there. It's pretty amazing to go visit. So now we have the landscape at the bottom and like I say she did a lot of floor so we're gonna add a flower here. Actually one of my favorite artists Brandon Maldonado is from New Mexico. So just kind of start like with the O and then with the number seven inside and then you're just gonna bring it around but kind of curve the lines and you just keep going until you have a desired size all the way around like I know her flowers look more realistic but this is more of a just Georgia inspired piece not an actual replica and then we're going to add some clouds in the background But yeah, New Mexico, it's very, actually it's called the Enchanting State. My favorite place in New Mexico would have to be Santa Fe. There's a lot of art galleries, there's a lot of things to see. You know, they have the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum there, which I haven't been to, but it is there. And then we'll draw another cloud on the other side. Anyway, my, one of my favorite artists, Brandon, like I said, lives there. And you should check out his work. Go to www.brandonmaldonado.com. He's an amazing artist, and he's, his stuff focuses a lot on Day of the Dead. And I've talked to him about him before, but he's actually one of the reasons why I started getting involved in art. I mean, I was always interested, you know, since a young child that were like, I was always constantly drawing, but he was the one that actually gave me like the inspiration to try to do it professionally. And there, we have the skull, we have the clouds, the landscape, the flowers up in the air that she, she would draw. So this is a lot, very much Georgia O'Keeffe inspired. Her clouds were not like this, they were a little bit more realistic, but I, like, I wanted this to be a little bit more um, illustrative. So, um, Tell me your thoughts on Georgia O'Keeffe. Do you like her as an artist? Do you think her flowers actually were tr trying to represent the female reproductive organ? Uh, leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, 
And please check out my channel. There's more videos about more artists. And you know, it's always good to learn about art, you know? It makes you more cultured. And everybody's attracted to people who are cultured. Right, Ami? Yes. See? So watch. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll sound really smart when you actually have background knowledge on artists. So anyway, keep watching. Adios y bye. Till next time.